Peggy 18. Hey, it's Dan Sochin here, producer from United Front Games, here today to talk about Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs is an action-packed open-world game in which you play as Wei Shen, an undercover cop who's trying to take down the triads and ultimately the dragon head. The main focus of Sleeping Dogs is action, with a best-in-class hand-to-hand combat system, slow-motion shooting mechanics and high-octane races. This game is designed to have you on the edge of your seat at all times. But today, the focus is on one of the other things to do in Sleeping Dogs, namely, police investigations. To keep from blowing your cover, only a few police officers know your true identity, but in special circumstances you're willing to risk it all to help gather additional intel on people and illegal activities, to help your police contacts solve some of their most difficult cases. Wei, I have something for you. What is it? Dead triads, six of them in the past few months. All found by the water, all sliced open. What do the investigators think? (laughs) What investigators? You think HKPD puts a lot of effort into solving dead gangsters? So what, they're not people now? This is why I'm coming to you. We just found three new bodies under the Aberdeen Bridge. Get down there and take a look around. And Wei, uniform officers on the scene say at least one of them is from your crew. What? You positive? Keep your head on straight, officer, and your eyes open. We start this mission in the undercover police headquarters, where you can see the evidence board that they're building against the Sun on Yi triads. In this mission, you're investigating a serial killer with possible triad connections. In the first part of the case, you have to investigate the crime scene to determine what the connection may be. Straight ahead, you can see a flashing light. We use this in the game to denote a special item. In this case, it's a lockbox, which can be scattered across the city. A handy gameplay shortcut is that you can click the left thumbstick to toggle between different available missions and side quests. The minimap is also useful as it calls out activities that are available in your area. Blue shields are drug busts, yellow circles are favors, orange flags are races, green icons are main story missions, and dark blue icons are police cases. There's an on-screen indicator telling you the direction of your destination and how far away you are in meters. Yes, it's Hong Kong, so it's the metric system. But note that the direction is as the crow flies, not necessarily when you need to turn. We have some on-screen arrows above the road that assist with that. To gain access to key locations during a police investigation, Wei requires a disguise. Cops tend not to share too many details with triad thugs, and Wei isn't keen to share with many that he's a cop. So in this instance, he grabs a police outfit to fit in with the other officers patrolling the area. The dialogue system includes a feature we call Fast Talk, where you have to time a button press during a dialogue to convince a character to allow you to do something, while also not blowing your cover. No! Is there a bomb? Uh, you know, could go off at any minute. I'm guessing the blast won't go more than a few hundred meters. Uh, Excuse me, I forgot something in my car. Your PDA is your most trusted ally on these covert missions. Here you'll need it to take pictures of the bodies to report back to Inspector Jane Tang. You'll also need to search the bodies to look for clues. Vincent? (sighs) Shit. Son of a bitch. Someone did surgery on these guys. Everyone the same. This is no ordinary serial killer. When you finish investigating the crime scene, dump the disguise and report back. You'll then unlock the next stage of this investigation. You press up on the D-pad to access your PDA. (laughs) 
tank. This way. What did you find out? Vincent. They got Vincent. I'm sorry. I know he was your friend. What are you gonna do next? All the victims were sun on you. All had an organ removed, cut right out of them. You're right, this isn't just about murder. What's your next step? The removal looks professional. A surgeon of some kind. I'm gonna look into the hospital records. If somebody's stealing organs, they gotta be using them for something. All right, keep me informed. In this case, you found out that the killer harvested organs. Time to head to the hospital and find out what's going on. Wei is going to need a disguise to get through the hospital unnoticed. Paging Dr. Wei. What do you have right now? Another hit and run. A poor guy got thrown right across the road. <sighs> what's wrong with the drivers these days? We've placed ambient conversations like throughout on. the world that we call sprinkles. They man. often talk about things that you've recently done. In this case, they're speaking about a rash of hit and run accidents, basically referring to the player what causing havoc here? in the city. You in the habit of challenging doctors, nurse? I'm saving lives. What are you doing here? So, so sorry, doctor. Once you've convinced the nurse that everything is fine, you need to hack into the hospital computer. For the hacking minigame, you need to get four correct numbers and in the correct locations. If the number is wrong, you'll see a red square appear behind it. If it's the right number but in the wrong location, it's yellow. And if it's green, then the number is correct. To make things a little bit easier, no number is used twice. My tip? Start with 0, 1, 2, and 3, and then systematically work your way up from there. Looks like Dr. Sang is doing a lot of kidney transplants. Where are you getting your donors, Sang? You catch those gunshot victims the other day? A couple of them. Can't believe someone shot them away. To plant a bug in his office, you'll need to find a place to hide it. In this case, in an air vent. Unscrew it by rotating the thumbstick in the direction shown. To calibrate the bug, move the left thumbstick around until you find where the reception is best. This is indicated by the circle turning bright green. Hold it still in that location until the bar above is filled. The second part is like patting your head and rubbing your belly. You've got to move both thumbsticks at the same time to find the best signal. Four-finger woo? What are you doing meeting 18K Red Bull saying? Motherfucker. Killing Sun Onion guys just to get organs for an 18K ring. The doctor's working with a senior member of your rival gang, the 18K. So it's time to get out of here and to ditch the disguise. Tang, it's Wei. What have you found? I've got the doctor. He's doing a lot of transplants off the books. And he's got ties to an 18K Red Bull. I planted a bug in his office. You should be able to listen in on him. Tang, it's Wei. Stay on that wiretap. I expect Sang to be doing an emergency kidney transplant at any minute. He already got the call. But Wei, they picked up the donor too. It's Calvin. Your friend, Calvin. Shit. I have to warn him. They're saying he's in Central. They're already after him. But wait, you can't let him see you. The only way you know he's in trouble is if you're a cop. We've zeroed in on the serial killer, and he's about to act again. And this time he's going to kill Calvin, who's a friend of yours and a fellow Water Street gang member. The best way to take down the killer is to perform an action hijack. So you can take over the car, knock out the driver, which leaves Calvin in the trunk and allows him not to know who just helped him. And that's it. 
Wade took down a serial killer while keeping his cover intact, all in a day's work. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy the game when it comes out on August 17th. Okay, I got him. Pull in Dr. Sang. You sure? Tragic story of modern medicine, Inspector. Not every patient makes it. Way? I'm leaving this guy in the parking structure off Quark Street in Central. Make sure you send someone to let Calvin out of that trunk. Dr. Sang confessed. He's done more than 20 transplants for 18K in the past two years alone. The guy gives urban myths a bad name. He'll get 10 to 20 in maximum security. When you consider that all his victims were triads, I wonder how long he'll actually serve. 18K won't be happy, but I'll personally sleep a lot better knowing he's not out there. Doesn't bring back your friend, but I think it's fair to call it justice.